Volvo EC220D is a smaller sized excavator with an operating weight of around 22 tonnes. This model of it is made by MotorArt and comes in a Volvo branded box. On the back there's a nice photo of the real machine but there's no other information about the real excavator. The box is factory sealed so you can either carefully peel it off or just slice it open. With that done you can then reach in and pull out the innards. This model is fully assembled in the box so there are no separate parts to it. So all that remains is to separate the two interlocking trays and then carefully pull out the model. There's very little detail underneath the model but it's worth noting that both the undercarriage base plate and the body base plate are plastic. The crawler tracks are metal and they're good with some fine detailing on the track pads. And they're mounted on track frames which are okay, they're quite simple with no moving rollers. The cab has details such as a mirror and tinted visor and the internal details are good too. However on the review model there was a slight colour mismatch on the yellow between the cab and the body. At the rear the overall look is quite good, although the quality of some of the graphics is not the highest. Moving to the front there are silvered lights and the handrails have a thin gauge. But in fact those handrails are made of a very soft plastic so they're very pliable. And under closer examination there are quite a lot of plastic parts on the model. But at least on the plus side it does mean that the handrails are slightly less breakable than metal ones would be. The overall impression of the detailing on the body is good and there are hydraulic hoses running up the boom. However there is one big drawback on the model and that is that the hydraulic rams are entirely plastic. And unusually that includes the pistons, so they don't look right because they're not silver and they're very flexible. Another strange modelling decision is the use of big silver rivets for the connections and they would just have looked so much better with a bit of paint on. Looking past the silver rivets at the end of the stick, the metal bucket is quite a nice piece. Crane's etc team are fine upstanding fellows, but unfortunately they do fall over rather easily. They are flat footed so usually it isn't too difficult to get them standing up, but the slightest sign of any hard work and over they go. So what can be done? Well one idea is to glue them to a piece of clear plastic, but we don't like gluing things on cranes etc. What don't we like? We don't like gluing things on cranes etc. So another possibility to stop them lying down at every opportunity is to stick a piece of plastic putty onto one of the feet. And if that's done carefully with just a small amount of putty then it's quite unobtrusive and can be made to look okay. Of course if you're not bothered about trying to make it look good just use a bigger piece of putty. So out in the cranes etc test area the tracks won't roll on a smooth surface although they roll easily enough by hand and they're spring loaded to keep the tension. But, try them out on the rougher surface, the tracks by it and they roll pretty well. Rotation of the body also works fine, although it's a bit stiff on the review model. However, moving on to the hydraulics of the boom and stick and things are not so good. And it really all comes back to the modelling decision to use the entirely plastic hydraulic rams. And as a consequence, they can barely hold a pose at all. So in one sense, it might be okay if you're happy to pose the bucket resting on the ground. But if you want to pose it loading a truck for example, you've got to find a way to cheat and force it to hold a pose. There is also another problem which is that the main boom rams don't seem to be scaled properly, so it can't be properly lowered to simulate digging at depth. However one neat feature which is implemented well is the opening engine cover, and that lets you see a reasonably detailed engine underneath. Overall this is a model of contrasts. Some parts are nicely made with good details, but unfortunately the modelling decision to use plastic hydraulic pistons means the model doesn't look right or work well. And it's a pity because otherwise this could have been a good model. 